Hey guys! <laughs> I'm back! <laughs> I really didn't thought I was gonna do this again. I honestly was really saving my chance, but... Well, things happen! Uh, I really wanted to talk about this because apparently people are going insane about this specific topic. Uh, Bill Murr uh, recently spoke about Stanley's death. And he didn't only talk about this, he also said that comic books aren't, uh, you know, considered literature, and they shouldn't be. And I think this is an important talk to speak about. Not because everybody's doing so, but because... Uh, <clears throat> there's not only a lot wrong with what he said, it's just completely empty. So if you're new here, of course you are. I haven't made a fucking video here for like eight years or so. Man, time does go fast. So let's check this out and we can learn something about it. We can speak about it. Bill, what about the Stan Lee thing? Okay, your day has come. Tonight's editorial is about Stan Lee. Oh, no. Who, if you missed it, died in November. And a few days later, I posted a blog that was in no way an attack on Mr. Lee, but took the occasion of his death to express my dismay at people who think comic books are literature and superhero movies are great cinema, and who in general are stuck in an everlasting childhood. <laughs> All right, this is already kind of going down the drain. So you're starting by saying that comic books aren't literature. Okay, cool. So fine, okay. Comic books aren't literature. Explain why. Bragging that you're all about the Marvel Universe is like boasting that your mother still pins your mittens to your sleeves. <laughs> Okay, okay, cool joke, um, but explain- You can, if you want, like the exact same things you liked when you were 10. But if you do, you need to grow up. That was the point of my blog. Yes, yes, but, 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 but stop. But why is it for kids? Please explain. I'm not glad Stanley is dead. I'm sad you're alive. <laughs> Okay, cool joke, but explain! And by the way, if someone says you're being childish and you react by throwing a tantrum, <laughs> you're not Iron Man. <laughs> you're Irony Man. God damn it! Okay, first of all, it's a little complicated to speak about this without mentioning his presentation. If I use this kind of presentation, anything will sound reasonable. Even things that aren't. Everything. Everything. I mean fucking everything. Oh! They say serial killing is wrong. <laughs> but what do they know about it? <laughs> people are saying pedophilia is wrong. No, it's not. <laughs> Come on, people, grow up. This is fucking stupid. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you say, the problem, you're using visual manipulation with editing. So it makes it sound like you're right. The problem here is not your opinion, Bill. Do you realize that what you're doing, ranting and calling people immature for not liking what you like is immediately immature? I'm not the only one who sees that. Everybody fucking knows that. I'm doing that, but I'm not fucking mature. I'm a fucking childish moron. Other people tweeted things like, I learned about social justice and racial tolerance by reading comic books. Okay, but now you have pubic hair. <laughs> read James Baldwin. Read Toni Morrison. Read Michael Eric Dyson. I don't want to. <laughs> I'll see what I read and what I don't read. Besides, you're just assuming that anyone who said that uh, is immediately an adult. What if they were kids when they read that? What if they were actual children when they were exposed to comic books and they actually learned about this topic when they were kids? They were not gonna read those guys. You're assuming a lot of things based on what people are telling you, but you're not actually paying attention to what you're not seeing. The fact that you don't have all the information, Bill. Even a book as dumb as the Bible gets this. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. What are childish things? What is childish and what's not childish? Who dictates what childish is? I assume that being childish is being emotionally mature and unable to actually comprehend reality and to live and fulfill your life as a fucking adult. Not liking stuff that kids like, that does not make you a kid. You just have a, a different taste, that's it. I think you're focusing too much on taste and not actually on, you know, um, emotional maturity, which has nothing to do with toys, figures, and movies or comics. None of that. I think you really don't understand what growing up means. Can we stop pretending that the writing in comic books is so good? Oh, please. Every superhero movie is the same thing. <sighs> All right. 
Do you understand that writing in comic books and writing in movies work in a different way? A movie is a movie. A comic book isn't a comic book. The fact that a movie is based on a comic book doesn't make it the same thing. Yes, there's a lot of comic book movies that are incredibly repetitive. The MCU is also repetitive sometimes, yeah, it follows a formula, yes. It doesn't mean comic books are always the same fucking thing. How can you actually say both medias are exactly the same thing? They are not! They're not! Movies and comic books are not the same! Please stop pretending it's the same thing! There's nothing wrong with a man writing comic books. There is something wrong with adults thinking they're profound. Okay, so this is... This is something important that I need to say, and I actually need to defend Bill. A lot of people are actually saying that Bill Murray is attacking Stan Lee. He's not. Um, it's obvious that he's saying that Stan Lee deserves merit because as an artist and is creating a content, love a millions. He's not going against Stan Lee's memory or what he does. He's going against people who believe that that's content for adults. He believes Stan Lee is an artist, he just believes that it's an artist who made content for children. He's not disrespecting him. He's actually disrespecting people who like Stanley's content and are adults. <laughs> That's a totally different subject there. The folks at Stan's company, Team Stan, wrote an open letter to me and said, you have a right to your opinion that comics are childish and unsophisticated. Many said the same about Dickens, Steinbeck, Melville, and even Shakespeare. <laughs> no, they didn't. <laughs> Yes, they did, Bill. <laughs> there's, there's other YouTubers who have talked about this, <laughs> but did, yeah, it did happen. <laughs> so, uh, Bill, if you're going to speak about something, anything, at least make your fucking research and pay attention to what you're criticizing. Because if you come out with one of these things and actually somebody says, you're wrong, and you say, no, I'm not. Yeah, you are. Here are the facts. Just check out the facts, check out the facts before you actually speak about something. It's not so hard, just make some research so you don't look like a fucking moron in front of everyone. No, no one ever said that. No one ever said King Lear or Moby Dick was childish and unsophisticated. If you ever read a book without pictures, you'd know that. Motherfucker, what the- <laughs> ah! Ah! Okay, let's assume that everything, 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 uh, Oh my fucking lord, what is... How can you actually come with something like... I have a lot of stupid childish books who are made for children and have no fucking pictures. You know that kids' books have no pictures sometimes. They, 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 those things exist. Like, that's not a myth, Bill. Oh, the Spiderwood Chronicles. Yeah, they have no pictures. Oh, no way they do. <laughs> the problem here is that you are generalizing a media saying that everything that belongs to that media, just because it has pictures, it has no merit. I'm pretty sure you haven't picked a fucking comic book in your life. Come on, Bill. You should be smarter than that. There's a lot of different type of target audience for a media. There's a lot of movies for kids, there's a lot of movies for adults. The same, comic books for kids, comic books for adults. Why is it so hard to understand, man? <laughs> I'm laughing because they're paying me to laugh. <laughs> Team Shakespeare should write you an open letter. <laughs> yes, Howard the Duck, Hamlet, same diff. <laughs> oh my lord! Motherfucking pick up a comic book. <laughs> to thine own self be true, meet Hulk Smash. You really don't know anything about this media, don't you? It's so funny. Comics are for kids. That's why they sell them next to the Pokemon cards and not on the aisle with the condoms and the lube. <laughs> wow, that's uh. That's a pretty close-minded way to put it. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's probably the stupidest thing I've ever heard. I'm sorry, but if you're an adult playing with superhero dolls... I'm sorry, I mean collectible action figures. <laughs> why not go all the way and drive to work on a big wheel? <laughs> Grown-ups these days, they, they cling so desperately to their childhood that when they do attempt to act their age, I have a special word for it now. Adulting. <laughs> hey world, look at me. I just made my own eye appointment. Hashtag adulting. Oh, look at that. Irony. It's so funny when an adult doesn't understand irony, doesn't it, Bill? Marriages have been destroyed because the husbands, adult men, can't stop playing video games. When your wife wants to have sex and you can't come to bed because you're about to level up in Fortnite, don't be surprised when your relationship does this. 
Do you realize you're actually talking to specific type of people? It doesn't mean that everyone who likes video games does that. Please stop generalizing. That's how simple it is. Just don't generalize. So, as a conclusion, the problem is that clearly Bill Murr does not understand anything about the subject. If he was actually someone who came with a critical perception about this and said, you know, comic books are childish because of A, B, C, D reasons. That's totally fine. Because you're actually giving us arguments, but he's just saying this is for adults and this is not. What is for adults? I don't know. If you're, you know, a productive member of society, it doesn't fucking matter what you like, as long as you're not actually hurting anyone. You can like comic books, you can like My Little Pony, you can like whatever you like. It's just like, it doesn't matter to me. But why is it so hard to understand that people think differently than you, Bill? Because not everyone thinks the same. Not everyone is the same. Just let them be. They like comic books, good for you. It doesn't mean that they're not adults. It means that you just can't stand their way of thinking. That you believe that's for kids, that's totally fine. If you came onto your show and you said, this is my personal perception, this is why I don't like comic books, but that's me. That doesn't mean that it's true. But you come on here and you try to insult an audience that that you are immediately not even criticizing the media in a mature way. You're just saying this is for kids because, of course, comics are for kids because uh, only adults like sex. Of course, only... <laughs> it sounds pretentious and it sounds incredibly ignorant. And it sounds like you're not even opening yourself to criticism because you're immediately saying... <laughs> Go eat a dick if you don't like what I say. Nah, because I'm always right, because I'm Bill Murr, and I'm always right. Now, I've seen some other videos of Bill Murr. I've laughed at some of them. It doesn't mean that I can disagree with his personal video. That's the thing. We can all disagree in stuff. But it's important to understand that when you come out and actually insult people for their own way of thinking, when they're actually not harming anyone, like, why would you do that? Really? Who gives a shit if they like comic books? The problem here, Bill, is that you don't understand what perception means, and you don't understand what subjectivity means. You clearly think that you are right here. That this is the truth. That this is for kids, and this is not for kids, and this is something that only adults do, and that you need to grow up if you like comic books. Well, that's your perception, man. I'm not gonna change it. I'm pretty sure you're not even going to watch my video, because why would you? You don't even want to learn what people think. You're just very comfortable in your way of thinking. You're not open to criticism. You're not open to an observation. Because clearly, when even people from Marvel came out and said this, you're just like, no, no, I'm not. He's not interested in it. And it's not worth it to tell him, oh, this comic book's here for adults. I can recommend you Watchmen, The Dark Knight Returns. I can recommend you, um, I don't know, B for Vendetta, The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. It's not worth it. He's not going to do it. He's not going to try to open his mind. He's not interested. He's an ignorant. But he's in his own fucking right to be an ignorant. We all are. But I just wanted to come out and talk about this because personally, I... I feel like, as a comic book fan myself, and as a comic book writer and illustrator, uh, it's kind of sad that people still have this idea that if you are doing a comic book, this media is only for a certain type of audience, when you can actually do something with new possibilities. You can do comic books for adults, you can do comic books for kids, you can do comic books for anyone. It's a media. An art media. You can do art for kids, you can do art for adults. It doesn't have a specific type of audience. And if you like a fucking comic book for kids, I don't give a shit. It's your taste. That's the point. Just respecting. Huh? I'm not coming here and telling you your show's bad or stupid. No, I just came here to say that at that time, when you came out with this video talking about this subject, you came out as a ignorant fool. This time, sometimes you're wrong. Sometimes we're wrong. And sometimes it's right to admit that we don't know something. And in this case, you clearly have no idea what you're talking about. Well, thank you very much for coming. That was my small rant about Bill Murr. Oh boy, that was fun. Ah, uh, I'm sure it's interesting, huh?